Um, I'm Professor Andrew Gorringe and I lead a group that does research into uh, meningitis, pertussis and another number of other infectious diseases, particularly about developing new and more effective vaccines. Meningitis is a very serious bacterial infection that can progress very rapidly. Um, there were about a thousand cases of uh, serogroup B meningococcal disease in the UK in the last year. Um, we used to have a problem with both serogroup C and serogroup B disease, but a vaccine was introduced into the UK from 1999, and that's almost eliminated disease caused by the C bacteria. But vaccines against serogroup B are a really big problem, a very difficult problem, because the strains that cause the disease are very diverse. So it has been a great challenge to produce an effective vaccine against this diverse range of strains. The organism Neisseria meningitidis that causes this disease is a potentially a very dangerous organism and we have very specialist high containment facilities so we're able to grow large volumes of the organism and purify components of it to test as potential vaccines and we're able to do this with um, people at universities and also in uh, large and small companies. So we, we have specialist facilities that can help develop uh, and assess new vaccines. Two of the main uh, vaccine manufacturers have vaccines against serogroup B disease in late stage development. But the big question is whether they will be effective against all the strains of the organism that cause disease in the UK. So what we're doing is to develop a range of tests that will be able to tell if an individual who's received one of these new vaccines is protected against the range of strains that can cause disease. And particularly, we're very interested in developing tests that can use a very small blood sample from these vaccinated individuals. And that's particularly important in doing tests on young children. So now we're going to go into the lab to see where we analyse the immune responses to the vaccines. So here we're analysing a range of sera to see whether the antibodies will make an effective vaccine for meningococcal disease. We can analyse 96 samples at a time and we can see whether the antibodies are effective against a wide range of meningococcal strains. So this machine is a flow cytometer and we use this to measure antibodies binding to the surface of a range of different strains of bacteria and this will indicate how effective a vaccine is likely to be against these organisms. The meningitis bacteria normally lives quite harmlessly in the noses of almost uh, all of us at some time. Maybe 20% of people have this organism living up their noses without causing any problems. But very rarely the organism does pass from living in the nose to the bloodstream and once there it can grow very rapidly and cause very serious disease. So to try and understand carriage, we've, uh, I've had a, a number of studies with my collaborator at the University of Sheffield, Professor Robert Reed, where we have taken a harmless relative of Neisseria meningitidis and given this live intranasal um, inoculation into adult volunteers and we've shown that this harmless relative of the pathogen can actually displace the pathogen from the noses of these volunteers and we're trying to understand at the moment how that we can take this forward as a way of possibly preventing disease in the first place.